Hey guys, Chrono 16 here. Today is date September the 11th, 2013. What you're looking at here on screen is Comet Ison, uh, taken from the SLU telescope over at SLU.com. One of the latest images of Comet Ison, uh, which is on their 20 inch telescope over there. And they took this image here recently of Comet Ison as it continues to head inbound uh, into the inner solar system. Really, guys, there's really nothing new to report on Comet Ison. Uh, that's why I only come out with reports every now and then, uh, trying to uh, at least uh, give you new information about Ison. There's really nothing new to report on Ison. Uh, there's some debate on the magnitude of Comet Ison. Uh, I, I've been hearing anywhere from a 14.0 magnitude of Ison all the way up to a 12.2 magnitude which is obviously brighter than 14.0 and um, we have been visually watching ice in here from the Monterey Observatory here in West Arkansas which is a 16 inch scope and we haven't been able to get any real good CCD images um, of ice we got something similar to this it's not even really worth showing uh, Ice is not even that bright in the picture that we got as it is in this one uh, it, because of the weird haze that we have over in the north northeast here in West Arkansas which is there seemingly every morning so it's kind of hard to get a good CCD image of ice and we're working on that and we will get it but we are watching ice and oh I'd say so far at least two or three times actually three times a week uh, we get out there and we look at ice and Ison is getting brighter. It's uh, not as bright as they forecasted it, uh, but it is getting brighter. There is also some debate as to whether Ison has crossed the ice line. Uh, usually they say once a comet crosses the ice line, uh, it starts getting brighter faster. Uh, there's some debate on whether it has crossed that ice line or not. Uh, so we're just going to have to wait a little while longer to see what exactly is going to happen with Comet Ison as it continues on his trek inward from the outer solar system. Now there is something strange that I have discovered which I can't understand and doesn't make sense but then again what does make sense coming from NASA. NASA made this video a few weeks ago. Comet Ison to fly by Mars presented by Science at NASA. Around the world, astronomers are buzzing with anticipation over the approach of Comet Ison. On Thanksgiving Day 2013, the icy visitor from the outer solar system will skim the sun's outer atmosphere and, if it survives, could emerge as a bright comet for skywatchers in Earth's northern hemisphere. First, though, it has to fly by Mars. Comet Ison is paying a visit to the Red Planet, says astronomer Carrie Liss of the Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Lab. On October 1st, the comet will pass within 0.07 AU from Mars, about six times closer than it will ever come to Earth. Mars rovers and satellites will get a close-up view. It's too early to say whether Curiosity will be able to see the comet from the surface of Mars. That depends on how much Comet Ison brightens between now and then. Liz says the best bet is NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. The MRO satellite is equipped with a powerful half-meter telescope named HiRISE that is more than capable of detecting the comet's atmosphere and tail. Observations are planned on four dates, August 20th, September 29th, and October 1st and 2nd. All right, guys, so you saw that video, and we cut it off there at the, where they had the dates at, and one of the dates was August 20th. Now, obviously, we're past August 20th, where the MRO space probe uh, supposedly took images of Ison. I have not been able to find them on the NASA website. If anybody out there has found the actual pictures that the MRO space probe supposedly took of Ison, please contact me at newsguy at cox.net. That email address again is newsguy at cox.net. Uh, and if, if, if you have any news tips or anything you want us to talk about here on this channel, that is the best email address to contact us at but I have not been able to find anything from MRO as far as ISIN goes so where's the pictures at 
Now remember guys, they're also going to be taking pictures supposedly from this space probe here on screen as we're using the Eyes on the Solar System program that's linked under this video. That's the MRO space probe. That is the half meter te uh, picture that they're, uh, excuse me, telescope that they're supposed to be using. I believe that's the instrument right there. Uh, to take pictures of Comet Ison with that instrument right there. Actually, it's right here. There we go. There's an image right there uh, of, uh, of the uh, instrument that they're supposed to be taking pictures of Comet Ison with on the MRO probe. Uh, so if they have taken pictures, I haven't seen them. I have not been able to find them. Now, September 29th is the next date that they're supposed to be taking pictures with this instrument on this probe in October 1st and 2nd. So those are the dates that they are supposed to be taking pictures of Comet Ison from this space probe and actually also from um, Curiosity and the other um, opportunity I believe it is. Was it Curiosity? Yeah, Curiosity. Uh, they're supposed to be taking pictures of Ison from these probes from Mars on these dates. So uh, hopefully they will uh, be able to take pictures and maybe they will release them to the public. All right, guys, uh, many of you have uh, wrote me and asked me how do you see Common Ison? Where is Common Ison at in the morning sky? And so I'm going to make this portion here of the video to show you where Common Ison is. Now, I'm using a free program called Stellarium. It's linked under this video. It's completely free. A very good program to have to learn what the sky looks like at nighttime, evening time, daytime, anytime. All right. Now, what I have this set is between 4 and 5 a.m. Uh, Central Time. So adjust your times to your local time. If you're, uh, you know, if you're in, in the uh, United States of America, adjust your times. Again, I'm in the central time zone, and I'm got it set to 4:45 Central Time, looking pretty much east northeast. Uh, and there is Ison in the crosshairs, just to the left of Mars, on this program Stellarium. Now, what you want to do if you have a telescope, I want to suggest a thing, a couple of things here. One. Uh, I suggest you have a telescope that's at least 10 inches or more. Right now, Comet Ison isn't very bright, and you're going to have very difficult time, a very difficult time trying to spot Ison in anything smaller than a 10-inch telescope. Um, you 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 can find Ison in an 8-inch telescope, but it will be very very dim, and you can it's going to be very hard to find it in an 8-inch. So a 10 inch or more is what I suggest you try to find Ison with right now because of the magnitude not being very bright. And what you also want to do is you want to go to this website here, theskylive.com. And when you go to the main site, you click on comets. Okay. Now, if you have a go-to telescope like we do here at the Montre Observatory, uh, you'll have a computer and you'll be able to type in the coordinates of ISIN. Now, what you want to do is you want to, again, go to the home page here and you click on comets right there. And there's ISIN is the first one. You click on it and it will take you to a page where it's tracking Comet ISIN live. Okay, it'll be tracking Comet ISIN live. And, um, the coordinates will be right under Comet Ison C2012 uh, S1. There's the coordinates. You write those coordinates down and you type them into your computer on your telescope. After you've calibrated your telescope, uh, and it will take you right to these coordinates and it will take you right to Ison. Then you will be able to view Ison in real time. So that's how you go look at ice. And all these links are under this video, guys. Anyway, that's all I have for you. Uh, that's really all that's going on with Ison that I know of. And again, if you guys have any other information out there you would like me to cover or any information about Ison that I don't have, real information, contact me at newsguy at cox.net, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. May God bless you.